Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to create one-time dialogue just like the one we've just saw, dialogue that changes alternatively when you walk up to them, and repeating dialogue that comes back on itself so you can infinitely loop all your dialogue needs. And for one final surprise we have a special guest that I will show you at the end of the tutorial. So, in order to do it, the first thing you need to do is have some form of starting your dialogue. So in my case, I have an NPC here, and on the NPC, I have a sphere collider called Dialogue inside the blueprint of my NPC. And so I have this on component begin overlap, that means when a character hits the, delight, the dialogue, and I have my player. If it, I've got any dialogue to play, as in have I assigned to the variable, then I begin the dialogue like so. So I've got this on many NPCs, so this guy in front of me has the dialogue on him, so I can walk up and I can begin the dialogue. But you can see if, if I walk up to the nurse, nothing will happen because I've not assigned her some dialogue. So that's the basic intro to that. So what I have done is I have created a dialogue. So right click narrative dialogue for my nurse here. And all I have done is assigned it to her variable there. So she will begin the dialogue when we talk to her. So for the nurse, what I'm going to do is I want some form of introduction where she first ever meets you and says, hi, how you doing kind of thing. And then the plan is to then have some repeating dialogue there for her. So what I'm going to do is from the base one, don't populate it. I'm going to drag off to a separate node and just say a dialogue line for nurse target. And then here I will go, hey, I've not seen you around here. New in town? And that can be my welcome dialogue. And from there, I will just drag off and say hi yes i am new just just in town how is everything and then the final thing is i'll just make nurse say pretty good just dealing with all the battle wounds and that can be my basic one so all i'm going to do to make sure that this will only ever be played once and the first time and i will add a condition and i will set it to has completed task and I will set the task to be play dialogue node. And in narrative, every single time one of these dialogue nodes is complete, narrative will remember that it's been complete. That way it shows it a little bit gray so you can say you've hit it before. But in my case, I'm gonna take the ID of this first node and I'm gonna paste it into the argument. This will say, has the player played this dialogue node before? And I'm gonna tick not. So it says if they haven't played it, then she will play this. Otherwise, it will not do anything because there's no other nodes. So it'll just return it. So if you compile and save and talk to the nurse, she will say, hey, I've not seen you in new in town. Yes, I am. Deal off. And if we walk back up to her, you can see we can't begin it again because we've already done it. So that's how you do a single use dialogue. The next type will be the looping dialogue. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a dialogue line for nurse target. And I'm going to change this condition to be the exact same as the one above has completed task, play dialogue node. But instead of saying, not done it I'm just gonna say she has done it so if she's not done it it'll play that line if you have done it it'll play this line and I'm gonna say to this why hello again how can I help because she will remember that you've already been there and then from here I will just drag a player a play response and I'll just add some default options now it's always good to leave a exiting one. I have added three. Can you heal me? Do you have anything I can do and nothing goodbye and from all of these I can just give nurse target something to say and now she has three arguments at the moment, however, she will say, why, hello, how can I help? And then you will pick an option and then the dialogue will just end because the nodes don't go anywhere. So we need a way to correctly loop this back to how we need to go. And it really is as simple as dragging the node from the ending to an input. Don't drag it to the beginning where all the other nodes happen. It will cause a crash. So drag it to the beginning of the node. So imagine the process falling through like a bit, bit like water. It'll flow through the first node, then through whichever node is open, then back up to the start of it again. Now, this will work work but you will notice something a bit unique about it which which i will show you now and don't forget to not include the nothing goodbye otherwise you'll be stuck there for it so as i talk to her she will say hey i've not seen you around which is correct then if i talk to her again she'll say why hello again how can i help and we will have the options we will say i heal me and then she goes sure here it helps but then she says why hello again well we're already stood there while she's trying to talk to us again and that is as you can imagine because we're going back through the same node again so the easiest way to fix this is to drag all the nodes across a little bit hold the alt key to unbind them all from there and then just drag an empty one out for the nurse again like so and then reconnect them all up alt click on the ending ones and put them back to the new blank one this blank one will just hold the state when we redo it and it'll just keep cycling between these ones back to here as many times as you need it to so now you can see we can talk to her she says all of that we can talk to her again and we'll say we need some gold she says do you have anything i can do sorry not at the moment and then it will cycle exactly back to where we were perfect and then we can exit was just by saying 
saying goodbye. Perfect. So that's how you do looping dialogue. One other feature you can do with narrative is you can make her say alternative lines. So instead of just why hello again, it's a bit static. She's always going to say the same thing. So what you can do in narrative is come to the side and under details, once you've clicked on the node, you have the alternative lines node here. As you open it, you will basically get the equivalent of exactly what you have above. So you can add different text. Now I have four. Why hello? How can I help? Can I help? Hello, do you need something? And wow, busy day today. So if I compile and save, and now you can see if I walk up to her, she will say, can I help? And we can just say nothing goodbye. We can come in again and we'll get hello, do you need something? So now we have different variations as well. And this can also have audio attached to it. Sometimes you might want to have a conversation with the NPC that doesn't involve the player selecting an option, but yet the player is speaking. So this is a really easy one to do. In your class defaults here, where you add your speakers, simply add one called player or called whatever you want it to. Typically I use player because that's how narrative will render the player options as well. So I've created a speaker called player here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new player option down here so the player can begin the dialogue. And I'm just gonna call it, tell me about yourself. And the first one we will have the nurse just say something generic. Oh, little of me, I just grew up in the village not far from here, born and raised. And now I want the player to say something, but I don't want them to actually have an option. If I select play response, the player will have to pick the option on screen. However, if I just want the player to say something without selecting it, I can select my new dialogue line for the player here. And it you can colour it the same. I colour it different so you can differentiate it. And now I can just make the player say, interesting, that's good to know. And then I can just make the nurse say anything else I want, or I can just drag it back again. Haha, <laughs> thanks. And I can drag it back around to the beginning here. And now you can see when we walk up and speak to her, she says, wow, busy day. Tell me about yourself. And now the player will automatically pick the option saying, interesting, that's good to know. And it looks like the player selected it. So that's how you can do automatic player dialogue. So as you can see, I have just recreated the dialogue of Lucas Sims from Fallout 3. I haven't created every single node, but I've created the vast majority. Well, I'll be damned. You're from that vault, Vault 101. <laughs> I ain't seen one of those jumpsuits in a long time. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. So I'm hoping you can see it's super, super easy to customize narrative to do whatever you want. So thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this helped and I will see you next time.